Guys, what if I told you there's an extremely easy way to get Feebas in Brilliant Diamond's Shining Pearl? Well, that's what this video is all about. We got a little bit of a small exploit that's gonna allow everybody to find their Feebas every day and make it extraordinarily easy to shiny hunt this thing and all sorts. So let's get to it. So here I am in my game and I got my shiny Militic right here and you guys are gonna be able to get your own too. Not really difficult at all. So one thing you are gonna need is at least the good rod. You'll either need a good rod or a, or a super rod, okay? So you got both options. Uh, in this game, good rod works for catching Feebas, which I think in the previous game it did not. Where, where would that even be? Is that in here? Let's have a look. There's a good rod. I'm actually gonna use the good rod for demonstration so you can see that you don't actually have to finish the game to get it because you only get the super rod in the end game. So let's go ahead and use our good rod. Next up, guys, you're gonna have to go to F F Jubilife City, all right? Because Jubilife City has the lottery and the lottery numbers really strangely coincide with where your Feebas are. However, a normal mere mortal will not be able to convert the lottery numbers into the actual location. That's why we have a website to do it. But I'll show you guys how it works and it's all free and accessible. And of course, I will have that website linked down below. But first, let's get our lottery numbers here. This is the Pokemon Lottery Corner. If you draw your numbers matched to any of your Pokemon, starting with Fire Right Digitally, you'll be have a fabulous kit. Okay, so uh, would you like to save and draw? You have to save to draw your lottery ticket, which I think is interesting. Let's draw a lottery ticket. And she'll show our numbers, and our numbers are 62744. At this point, guys, you're going to want to use the link in the description to come to this screen right here. Ooh, my camera's in the way. So, uh, here you put in your lottery number, okay? Right up here in this little box. And that's going to showcase four potential positions in this area in Mount Coronet. I'll show you how to get there in a sec as well, uh, where your Feebas might be. Because as you guys might have known from the old games, Feebas only sp spawns in four possible squares every day, which changes every day. So let's put in our lottery numbers here to see where mine are. Okay, so it's 62744 is our lotteries. Six. Seven, seven, four, four. Okay, so let's have a look right over here. I put in my six two seven four four, and that's updated automatically live, and it shows me here. So, for example, guys, how this works is I can try the red square, and if I don't get a Feebas in the red square, then I will be able to get a Feebas in both green squares, and vice versa. If I don't get one in the green square, I will be able to get my Feebas in both of the red squares. Okay, so uh, let's have a look if we actually won anything in the lottery. <laughs> no, we didn't, sadly. And by the way, for anyone who's out there uh, wondering, this is one way you can get a lucky egg. It's not going to be a top prize, but you can get one in the lottery. So let's go ahead and go to Mount Coronet to try and find our Feebas now. All right, so again, get your fly. And I'm going to recommend coming to uh, Celestic Town. From Celestic Town, let's go hard left and go through this route into the mountain. Uh, we can just go up this way, actually. This is where we practice some things with the strength menu glitch, by the way. You can use this boulder here to try strength menu glitch outside. Anyway, let's go ahead and go inside. I recommend bringing some repels, because you can actually fish through repels anyway, and you don't want to waste too much time being in here, getting caught by, like, all sorts. So let's just go ahead and pop one of those. Okay, so from here, guys, let's go ahead and go up. Let's get the rock out of the way. Let's go up here. No menu glitch this time. Let's just go all the way up here. This is the path to the uh, peak, I believe. So you will actually come to okay. You'll come to a foggy area. You can use defog. You don't necessarily have to, but it's going to help you, I think. So let's go ahead and use defog down here. All right. And this is it. This is the area that we're looking for. All right. This is literally it right here. So uh, let's have a look at the map. So we can go by the squares right here. Uh, you just have to check. So let's take, for example, this first one right here. This is the big rock I'm looking at right now in my game. And the first red square is the top corner, the top left corner of it. So we could just go ahead and try that right now, which is right over there. So let's go ahead and surf. It's right beside me here. And if you want to get a better feeling of the actual squares in the game, just use your D-pad instead of the analog stick. That's one square, that's another square. So let's go right down against the rock, okay? And we're there, that's it. That's the square right there that I'm facing. So let's go ahead and open up my rod. And let's use the rod down here, the, the good rod. Okay, let's go ahead and use this here. And hopefully we'll get a Feebas. Nothing. You're just gonna have to try a couple of times. Let's try again. 
And obviously the super rod is going to be better. So if you do have the super rod, I just recommend that. But the good rod is a good way to get it a little earlier. We landed a Pokemon. Let's have a look. What do we get? It's a Barboach. All right. So that's not what we want. I guess we could just go straight and try the next square. Uh, the green squares instead of the red squares. So let's run away from this battle and let's just have a look at our map again. So over on our map here, guys, you can see there's a green square at the bottom here, which we just did with the red square here. We're going to go down to the green square and we're going to give that a try and see if that's any better. So it's directly down uh, underneath the rock in essence. So let's try and position for that. Let's go do our D-pad here. I'll just go down. Uh, okay, that'll do. And it's the one square to my left. So let's go ahead and try that. Let's go again and get our good rod here. Good rod into that square. Hopefully we get it. Nope, nothing. <laughs> Let's try again. Obviously, you just got to keep trying. But I guess it'll be worth it. This is just the easiest way to get this. Because obviously, other hunting it like legit is ridiculous. You'd have to try every single square. That's just pathetic. No way. All right, that's a Barboach 2. So it's either going to be... It's going to be one or the other of those two squares. I guess we should go through a couple of Pokemon. So I'll see you guys when we get one. Landed a Pokemon. Yes! Okay, so it's a Feebas. Perfect. That was actually my second try there. I know, I just... I can't believe it. So <laughs> there we go. Uh, that's... It's that easy, guys. Uh, now we know... We know for a fact that the Feebas will spawn in the two green squares right here. That's it, and not the red squares. So you can farm this every day. You can do this every day. You're just gonna have to get your lottery number. You can farm it as much as you want to get until you get a shiny and so on. But we just got ourselves the Feebas here. Let's go, wonderful. All right, uh, that's how you guys will be able to get your Feebas easily. And like I just demonstrated, the good rod is perfect for this. I actually just got the Feebas on the second try with a good rod. Uh, you do not need the super rod, so that's really, really nice for a lot of people who wanna get that Pokemon onto their team earlier rather than later. Thanks for watching, guys. Drop a sub if you need to, or if you want to keep on top of all the updates and so on. We do currently have our giveaway for Ditto going on for the rest of the week. Six IVs, good for breeding and shiny and foreign and all that stuff. Good for shiny hunting. So, guys, I'll see you around in the next video, I guess. Till then, bye.